The Community College of Rhode Island just completed a Cultural Awareness Day at the Liston campus in Providence. We had two goals. One, to show the college community that we had quite a diverse population of students and staff and faculty from all over the world, and that they were starting on a career in education to bring them to a different point. It was my first time in 1969 uh, to visit the United States as a, as a student and I've been there, I've been here since then. I come from Mexico and I was born here in the United States but my mom took me there when I was four. I came here because of some of the genocide that was occurring in northern Liberia and eventually what turned into an all-out civil war. I decided to come back because um, of college opportunities. I came to CCRI because Education has always been a very strong value in my family. Being here in the CCRI, people here are really educated, really nice people, really helpful. And I'm glad I'm here. The other thing we tried to do with this Cultural Awareness Day was to educate as well as to inspire both the students who were in the audience, but also the staff and the faculty. We used the slogan from CCRI called Changing Lives as a sort of sub-theme to the conference. Changing Lives sort of says it all to us at the Community College of Rhode Island. We featured 20 different students from all over the world who are enrolled at CCRI and we try to use the skills and the cultures that they bring to us to share with the larger audience at the Liston campus, we tried to focus on a theme that said diversity leading to unity. And we tried to show that all these languages and all these cultures actually would feed into the American experience and the American dream. That's why students come here. They're trying to change their lives for the better. Whether you live in, in Rhode Island or in California, you see people from all countries. I think the U.S. is open for, for diversity, but at the same time, I think sometimes some people, a group, a group of people who don't like that and stands against that. I still see some racism around, but not as much as when I first came here. But in general, I think uh, it is open to diversity. And We are all different peoples, and uh, different peoples are going to be a part of the American landscape from now until the foreseeable future. And it's fun to learn the traditions and different culture from a lot of people. Like today, you know, we learn so many different ways to say peace and changing lives. The second theme was world peace because all of these cultures need to work together, at least in our country. And they need to work together because of our main theme, unity out of diversity. And so we brought together 20 students from different countries. We asked them to tell about their flag. We displayed their individual country's flag up on a easel. They explained the history of the flag, a little bit about themselves and the country. So I would like to explain the flag of Nigeria. Green, white, green. The green over there is agriculture. And why the white is peace. The green strip is meant to symbolize hope in the future, and the red to symbolize the blood of the nation's heroes. The red represents the Armenian highlands. The blue symbolizes the will of the people of Armenia to live beneath peaceful skies. And orange represents the creative talent and hardworking nature of the Armenian people. Uh, the red was basically um, to represent the St. George Cross. The white was from to represent the uh, French royal uh, uh, emblem since uh, Charles VII. The yellow represents the richness and the gold of the land. The blue, the two oceans. Colombia is the only country in South America that has coastlines in both the Pacific and the Atlantic. And red represents the blood of our heroes, love, courage, and progress. The black color represents the pre-Islamic time. The white one represent, uh, it was used as the, the first flag for the Prophet Muhammad, peace, peace, uh, peace be upon him. They use it uh, when they used to go to war. And the green one represent the Fatimid dynasty 
highlight also a symbols of the Muhammad's life. The red represents the Hashemite uh, dynasty. And then I asked them to do two things for the audience. One, to translate into English from their native language, whatever it may be, to translate the word peace, because that was part of the goal of the, of the day. Peace, repeat, is Irini. Irini. The word for peace in Arabic, as, Haifa, as Vera said, is Salam. We say peace, fast. The second thing I asked them to do, and they did it very well, is to look at the Community College of Rhode Island motto. It's called Changing Lives. And I asked them to teach the audience how to say changing lives in their language as well. Changing lives, alaksiniti zoitis. Very good. Changing lives is muda um, vida. Changing lives is tarir al hayat. Thank you so much. Changing lives, uh, change is changer, and lives is levy. I do hope to transfer to a, a four-year college, and I hope to get a career in, a com in computer animation and filmmaking. I'm going to be graduating from CCRI in about five weeks, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm very excited, and I'm looking to transfer. Uh, top choice is Brown University. We'll see what happens. For now, I would like to focus on my degree, getting that uh, ultrasound degree, and also raising my kids as, as good as I can. My other biggest dream is to finish a semester in another part of the world. No matter what I do or where I go, I'm going to be involved with the community, especially dealing with the youth, because growing up I was a troubled youth myself because I was uh, just trying to get along with the, the way of living, so to speak. That's what we grew up with and that's what we knew. But I was able to learn uh, something different and learn that I had options. And I think that's very important because especially in Rhode Island and other communities, uh, large minority populations, uh, the kids just need to see that there's something else, there's something better. And a lot of these kids have a lot of potential that may not be explored. So I've pretty much dedicated my life at this point to inspiring other people and delivering service to my fellow man.